Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Superboo, and man, it feels weird to say that. I can actually admit that in this video. Um, yes, welcome to the first in the Superboo Explained series, where I go over all the changes and basically just who I am. If there's anything you're unsure of, it's probably sitting here in this playlist somewhere. Um, so, uh, yeah, I hope all this is of some use to you. Uh, these videos will go up... Um, there will be a total of five more videos, and they will go up every hour today. Uh, they will go up hourly. So, yeah, I, uh, I did originally do this as one big old thing, but I thought doing it as separate videos would be easier in case uh, people just wanted to look at a specific thing or whatever. And who knows, maybe I could even break the algorithm and get so <laughs> weird influx of views, but I don't think that will happen. Um, so yeah, the first and perhaps the most obvious thing I want to talk about is the name. Um, the name has changed. It was Super Mario Infinity 22, as you know. It is now Super Boo. Uh, it appears as Super Boo FGN, um, at least for now. I'm, I don't think I have to do that, um, but I've just I've just chosen to. You can just call me Super Boo, though. Um, yeah, the name was changed because, well, there was, there was a few reasons for it, really. First of which is just to streamline it. That's basically the whole theme of the of the changes, just streamlining the channel and making it easier to run. Um, and uh, two, because Super Mario Infinity 2 wasn't really an accurate representation of who I am anymore. Um, it was when I started the channel, but I do a lot of non-Nintendo stuff now. And while I do very much like Nintendo stuff, and while Super Boo is still very much a Nintendo name, um, it's less... Well, I suppose it's more ambiguous, um, which in this case is an advantage. Um, so yeah, it's slightly less original, but it will work better in the long run. And everyone just called me Super Mario anyway. No one knew how to say my name. But people were calling me Super Mario, Mario Super, SMI, like all sorts of different stuff. And... Well, Mario Super was incorrect, but the rest of it, um, I just said it was wrong. I was kind of lying a bit. But yeah, Super Boo would just be easier to mention as well. Um, so you're welcome, everyone. Um, second thing is the rebrand. Obviously, with changes this severe, there is going to be a rebrand. Uh, the television era did me well. Um, I like the television era a lot, but my God, was it a bitch. My God, was it a bitch. Um, the cover art was took forever to do when I made it. Um, although I did enjoy, enjoy every second of it. The outros, well, the intros and outros, as much as I liked them, were also very time-consuming uh, and difficult to do. So, it's because uh, not only did I have to find all the videos, I had to resize them, put them all in place, and then after they have uploaded, put the cards in, and it was just a mess. Um, um, yeah, I've got the intro and outro as a separate bit actually. Um, <clears throat> but the channel generally, over the last like four years or so, the re th uh, the branding has been generally quite dark colours. Um, so this is kind of very stark contrast because it's very white um, now, and it's simpler. And I I'm not sure if I prefer it as such, but I do very much like it. At at, uh, at least the same um, if not a little more because the, the whole visualizer thing that we've got going on in the background is part of that rebrand and man do I love that oh do I love that <laughs> I love that so that was actually coded entirely in Python about 180 lines of code I think that was including all the comments I put in it which was a fair amount um, so uh, yeah that's a well and good intro and outro I've already kind of uh, touched on a bit um I, w I wanted to talk about uniformity because the old intros and outros on television era are all contextual. So the intro had um, the name of the episode or the game or whatever it would be at the start, and then the outro had three different sets of videos that would depend on the series of the last one, the last video, and just a random checkout video in the middle. Um, so it was all contextual. Now it is entirely uniform. Uh, there are a number of different intros. Um, you'll see them all throughout the course. There's four at the moment, but I might make more in the future. Uh, you'll see all the ones I have at the moment at the start of these um, 
at the start of all these different videos. But um, yeah, so those are kind of, uh, but they all do the same thing uh, pretty much, and they're all a little bit shorter as well, which is nice. And the outro is entirely uniform now, and now does its its video suggestions based on end screens, um, which is a little bit nice. It's it's easier and it's well, it's easier to do, and it's kind of it works better in terms of contextualizing everything because YouTube kind of automatically works out if certain pilots aren't available but then they'll change it when they do become available in the future um, I suppose cards kind of did that but it was a little I know it was slightly less integrated if that makes any sense um, so yeah that's where the the intros and outros or, or that's what's happening the intros and outros thumbnails themselves are also changing quite considerably what you're seeing on the screen right now is is essentially what the thumbnails will be um, with the super boo, the hollow boo, and the one in the middle, uh, that's all you'll see on thumbnails. Of obviously there'll be pictures and stuff behind like I normally do, um, but the core design of logo at top, uh, game logo in uh, bottom left, and episode number in bottom right um, has gone now. It's been it's been that way. The details have all changed, but the actual core layout of the thumbnails hasn't changed since the start of the yellow era and that was like th oh god maybe four years ago now maybe three when i say four years ago i might be overstating it a bit but it was it was a fair few years ago i came up with that um so that's all changing well i do like it quite a lot um i do like not motion blowing the the uh, the thumbnails now because i always used to blow them um because it looked uh, better. I do kind of. I I don't think not motion blurring would have worked so well in the old thing, but it works a little better in the new one. Um, and also having the the episode number there or the series title because SS will just have SS besides announcement videos, um, which will be numbered. <laughs> it's already getting complicated. Um, having it there means that the video length isn't obscuring the episode number, which was a problem in the last one. Um, so yeah, I do quite like them. They are actually easy to make as well. Um, well, actually, well, they're roughly the same actually because I, I generally use templates, but I don't have to create a new template every series is what I mean. Um, yeah, descriptions have also changed. They changed a while ago, um, but the finalized version is in the description now um, because they've gone through a few slight changes of extra links and rearrangements and stuff. Um, the streamline, well, so I'm oh, giving it away now. Uh, the descriptions were changed to become more streamlined and also more informative. Um, as much as I did like the old descriptions, they were also a bit of a nightmare to do because I had to get links for the previous and next videos every single time, and it was a nightmare. Um, so now it just links you to the series, the channel, and there are s several other links, and it's all upload defaulted and stuff. And it's not based on the series. Um, and my tablet just went off and, and yeah I do like them a lot more because they kind of do a better job of saying everything that I am or everything that I, that I am Jesus Christ I cannot talk today everything that I am in as few words as possible which is very nice um, but yeah that concludes this video the next video which we'll see in probably about 45 minutes now um, we'll talk about the YouTube side of things uh, so uh, changes in videos and changes in playlists and stuff um, so yeah I'll catch you then but until next time